Hillsborough deputies say this man is violent and what he's accused of doing. I live just about a mile away and um, and if he's still on the loose, it's, it's just scary. Has neighbors in disbelief. When you're heading to your house, you think you're going to be safe. I mean, it's your own property. If you're forced into your own house, that's just it's insane. Hillsborough deputies say at around 7 p.m. Tuesday, a woman at Captiva Club Apartments in the town and country area saw a man loitering in the parking lot. Moments later, he attacked her while she was unloading groceries, and he was armed with a stun gun. He then tried to force himself on top of her. When she fought back, he used a stun gun on her, and then that's when she started screaming. Investigators say the attacker first tried to take off the woman's pants and sexually assault her, but her screams scared him away. This could have been a lot worse, but because of her heroic uh, and brave actions in trying to get help, she was able to uh, minimize how horribly this could have gone. Detectives say the attacker has some recognizable features, including a noticeable scar under his left eye. They want the public to look out for him, but keep in mind he may still be armed. That's what makes this scary, is this guy not only used force, but he used a weapon in trying to get what he wanted, uh, making this very violent, uh, so he might still have that stun gun. Neighbors hope deputies catch the man fast. Get his photo out there if there is a, even is a photo, and hopefully maybe he's caught on camera, and hopefully somebody has a tip and can report it. Yeah, not necessarily a photo, but definitely that sketch that we've been showing there. If anybody recognizes that man uh, or sees him, certainly call the sheriff's office. Now that apartment complex, Mark, is completely surrounded by a fence. It's gated, so uh, the sheriff's office says they don't know if this man lived there or if he was able to get in there somehow. That's all part of the investigation. We did try to talk with the manager there, but she declined to comment. Yeah, understandably, everybody on high alert right now. Hopefully we'll find him. Aaron, thanks.